What's going on, my Jets family? I want to thank you guys for tuning in and being here, part of the Take Flight Spit and Fire podcast. You got me, Harrison Glazer, always excited to talk to you guys all about them Jets. So, yesterday, as you guys know, training camp began. Training camp started, and we had uh, two episodes yesterday where we talked about one of the stars of yesterday's training camp, Mr. Denzel Mims, and the potential of, you know, uh, what that means to the offense. And he's another guy that wants to be really good. We talked about Makai Becton and the great shape he's in. If you guys want to check that out, that's uh, on my channel. You guys can see those episodes. Today, we're going to talk about the second day of training camp and someone who's looked pretty good in that second day. But it's more about what's going to be coming from him, right? More about what he's going to become, and that is Mr. Brees Hall. Now, Brees Hall looked good today, man. Brees Hall had a couple of good runs, looked very fluid, had a couple of good catches. But it's more than that, right? We know that Brees Hall is going to be freaking special. Like, this was a guy that could have and should have been a first round pick. We've talked about this, right? In a <clears throat> in a league where running backs rarely ever go in the first round anymore, here we have Brees Hall, who Joe Douglas was ready to trade back up for. But Joe had already traded up to get Jermaine Johnson and had taken three guys in the first round, he was prepared to take a fourth. He was ready to trade up to get Brees Hall because he knows what Brees Hall is. So if you guys remember uh, about three weeks ago or so, we talked about how Michael Carter is still going to have a part in this offense. Still going to have a part. He's still going to contribute. We talked about, like Michael Carter said, there's plenty. There's, uh give you the exact quote right here. Michael Carter said, uh, there's enough for all of us to eat. There's plenty to go around, you know? So we talked about that. We talked about how Brees Hall, though, is the main guy. He's going to be the guy, but Michael Carter is going to play a pretty big role as well. He's going to get a good amount of carries because, again, there's plenty to go around. There's enough to eat. So if you guys missed that, that was three weeks ago. We talked about a lot of stats. Also up on my channel, and you know what? I'll link it here as well. So if you look in the description, you'll see the link to that other channel. But we're going to talk about Brees Hall, man, who, like we said, should have been a first-round pick when you don't see running backs go first any uh, in the first round anymore. Joe was ready to trade up again to get him, make him the fourth guy in the first round. We got easily the best running back in this last draft. So we look at Brees Hall and what he is, man. You know, we talked about, like, uh, when he came in, but Brees Hall, we look at what he is. So Brees Hall put up in the last two years, he put up over 1,500 yards in 2020. Just about 1,500 yards in 2021 and over 20 touchdowns in both seasons. He has over 3,000 yards and over 40 touchdowns in two years. This is the kind of player Brees Hall is. A lot of people are saying he's going to come in, be like Jonathan Taylor, a big physical back that's also very quick, good in the passing game, can do it all, that's going to really take off running. But again, the beauty of this, you still got Michael Carter. And we'll, as you guys remember, I mentioned, we had the episode where we talked all about Michael Carter. Please check it out. But man, Brees Hall is going to be special, and that's what this is about. He's already starting to shine. He's looking good and already the second day of training camp, making some good runs, some good cuts, made some good catches. But, man, like we said, over 3,000 yards and over 40 touchdowns in just two years. And in the receiving game, he didn't do as much in college. He had his best year last year with over 300 receiving yards, but he's really underappreciated in the receiving game. If you guys missed it on Twitter. I put it out like maybe a month ago or so. There was this great footage of Brees Hall at Iowa State in college making this insane one-handed falling down catch where he basically tripped up and he was falling and he still made the catch with one hand. The dude is an outstanding receiver as well. He's going to be special at the next level. And like we talked about, you know, Michael Carter as well. When they, when Michael, when Brees Hall came in, remember we talked about this in that episode I mentioned, Michael Carter texted him immediately, showed him love, Brees Hall said that was awesome. He said, you know, others might be too prideful. He was excited to learn from him. And that adds to what Michael Carter said today in Michael Carter's interviews today. He said that Brees Hall asked a lot of questions and he said that's something he can appreciate because Michael Carter said when he came in, he did the same thing. He said he, lev he uh, leaned on Tico. Tevin Coleman. He said he leaned on Tevin Coleman. He joked and said Tico was probably tired of hearing from me, but he appreciated it. And that because he did that and took that time with me, he wanted to pass it on. Michael Carter said that the culture is that uh, that's the culture that we're building here. 
and it was just freaking beautiful. So Michael Carter already in his second year taking that veteran role. And again, if you missed it, we talked about it in that other episode I'm referencing. We talked about all about how Michael Carter was excellent last year after contact, just like Brees Hall is. Joe Douglas knows what he's doing. He's got two running backs here where, again, I talked about it in that episode. Please check it out. These are two guys that are fantastic after the first hit, after contact. These are two guys. And again, Brees Hall has the potential to be unbelievable. So again, this kid can be absolutely special. I'm freaking excited about it. I mentioned it in that episode as well, man. Brees Hall could be amazing himself. Him and Michael Carter together... Man, that could be one of the best running back duos in the NFL. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Just like yesterday, I'm going to bring you a two-parter. Love. Uh, bro, hope you guys are enjoying the content. Really do hope you are. If you are, if you could please subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated. So if you are enjoying it, if you could please subscribe, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. But this is the first one. I'm going to bring you another episode an hour from now. So at 8 o'clock, there'll be another one popping. So hope you appreciate this. Hope you appreciate talking about Brees Hall. And man, that kid's special. Again, that kid's special. A first-round talent running back. Best running back in this draft. Man, I can't wait. Brees Hall is going to rip the NFL apart. And Michael Carter is ready to have a big second year. That's a great backfield, man. Let's go.